So you're thinking about moving to Metairie, Louisiana, or maybe you're just wanting to learn a little bit more about the area. Well, you've checked out the right video. I'm going to take you on a Google Maps tour, and we're gonna learn about the ins and outs of what Metairie is all about, and we're gonna get after it right now. Before I jump into the map, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Riley and my team and I have helped thousands and thousands of people just like you with their smooth move to New Orleans and to Louisiana in general. So if that's you, if you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, go ahead and send us a text or an email. You can give us a call or schedule a Zoom call with us and we would be happy to help you with your smooth move to New Orleans or Metairie or anywhere in Louisiana. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the map video. All right, welcome to my computer. I don't normally start out these map videos so zoomed out, but I thought, why the heck not? Let's switch it up just in case there's someone who maybe isn't as familiar. So this is the Gulf of Mexico, all of this down here. And if we follow the state line up, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more bold for you. This is the state of Louisiana. It is shaped just like a boot. And the New Orleans area right down here is almost at the bottom of the state. It's not at, it's not at the very bottom along the coast, but it is very, very close. Now, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see that we kind of have our own coast over in the Metairie area because we are located right along Lake Pontchartrain. So here is, I have outlined for you where Metairie is located. It's one of the biggest communities located in Jefferson Parish, which is in the greater New Orleans area. Now, Let's go ahead and talk about some distances really quick. So Metairie is right on the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain. And let's go ahead and say you work in Metairie, but you live in Mandeville or somewhere on the north shore. The north shore of Lake Pontchartrain includes some of these cities right along here. So Mandeville, Madisonville, Covington, Folsom, that's all considered the North Shore, even over to like the Slidell area. So if you live in Mandeville, let's say, it is going to take you about 30 to 40 minutes to get to Metairie and vice versa. Or if you live in Metairie and work on the North Shore. And as you can see, this is where Baton Rouge is. Again, here's, here's Metairie and Depending on traffic, it's going to take about an hour to, I know this is kind of a stretch, but an hour and a half to get to Baton Rouge from Metairie. And again, that's totally just gonna depend on traffic. So if you have a doctor's appointment or something like that and you're kind of unsure about if there's gonna be an accident or construction or something like that, I would definitely plan on it taking closer to an hour and a half just to play it safe. But always use your maps and your GPS and what is it called, Waze, things like that to help you out. So depending on where you, let's say you live in Metairie, depending on where you live is kind of going to adjust these times slightly. So if we are talking somewhere um, in this area of Metairie, it is going to take you about 10 minutes or so to get to the central business district of New, New Orleans, which is right around here, and the French Quarter, so, so the downtown area of New Orleans. But if you live a little bit farther away, so somewhere maybe over here of Metairie, it's going to take you closer to 20 minutes to get to the downtown area of New Orleans. Now, Metairie is in the middle of the airport and the downtown area, so here is the New Orleans airport. So same goes for this. So if you live right around here, it's gonna take you about five minutes even <laughs> to get to the airport. But if you live on the opposite side of Metairie, it could take you closer to 20, especially if there's a little bit more traffic. So yes, Metairie is right in the middle 
of the airport and downtown New Orleans. I know those are two very popular questions that we often get. So they, it could take you anywhere from about 10 minutes to 20 minutes to get to both of those places. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, I had to take a slight intermission because I'm six months pregnant and I was so hungry. <laughs> I was like hangry and I am also sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. It just wasn't a good combination. So we're back and the next thing that we're gonna talk about are some of the main roads of this area and also some main roads that will take you in and out of Metairie. I think the first and the most obvious being Interstate 10 here and this will, this literally runs right through the center of this city, which is absolutely fantastic in my opinion, because if we zoom out, you can see that it dips down into the Metairie New Orleans area, and it will take you right out of the state and into Mississippi. So if you are, let's say going on vacation in Alabama or Florida or something, it will, hop on this interstate in your backyard and out you go. Same thing if you need to go to Baton Rouge for any reason. Maybe you have kids that are going to LSU or you wanna go tailgating up there, or you have a doctor's appointment or whatever. It takes you right from this interstate that's basically in your backyard, takes you right on up to Baton Rouge. I mean, it's so convenient in my opinion. And if you need to continue over and like into Texas, if you're taking a road trip or something, then same thing. Now let's zoom in again. And I would say the next main road that we can talk about is the causeway. So the causeway bridge coming from the North shore of like Mandeville area, you are going to pay a small toll when leaving that side. And I wanna say the last time that I crossed the bridge, it was about $5. It doesn't tend to fluctuate too much. It's just that I haven't taken the bridge in a little while, in a few months probably. So once you get into Lake Pond, or once you get into Metairie, it turns from the Causeway Bridge to the Causeway Boulevard. And if we can zoom in a little bit more, you'll see that the Causeway Boulevard has tons of businesses. And like some of these other main roads that I'm gonna mention, it also, you can see all of these tiny little um, roads going off. It divvies out and kind of fingers off into all of the different neighborhoods of this area as well. So not that I'm saying the Causeway Boulevard is necessarily like majorly residential, but it kind of takes you off into the neighborhoods. And the same, that same thing goes for Highway 61, also known as Airline Drive. Definitely a main road of the area. Tons of great businesses on this road, but also it's going to take you off and into so many different neighborhoods <clears throat> of Metairie. Now, another one that's similar to that is Veterans Boulevard. And let me zoom in so you get a better idea. That is right here. Veterans Boulevard is filled with amazing businesses of all sorts. I mean, that might be where you end up going grocery shopping, clothes shopping, vehicle shopping, out to eat for your like restaurants and bars and everything. It has everything. Veterans Boulevard, which um, after this, I will zoom in and I can kind of take you down uh, vets is what the locals call it. Now, some other main roads, but I would say these are a little bit more residential, less busy than the three that I just mentioned, but let me see how close I wanna zoom in here. Uh, that's probably good. We have Metairie Road. We have West Metairie Avenue. West Napoleon Avenue. Cleary is another um, very popular road. West, let me come over here a little bit. <clears throat> West. I'm sorry, Metairie Road will kind of take you over and into what is considered to be like old Metairie. Great, 
fantastic, quiet, a little bit more on the upscale area of Metairie. And it this road does have different businesses, but it's very, there's like oak trees and it's, even though it's a main road, it's a very pretty road. And I guess the last main road, um, worth mentioning because as you can see the some of these main roads they're more bolded so you have a pretty good idea it's kind of set up like a grid system unlike so many other areas of louisiana and towns even the ones if you've watched some of our previous videos on the north shore it's just a little bit more weavy windy and not that that's a bad thing by any means but metairie is very neatly organize the roads they're set up very strategically and it's easy to get around very much so like a grid system so um the only other main road that i guess i will mention before we move on to the next thing is west esplanade avenue there's a hospital right off of this road east jefferson uh very convenient to have in your town to have a hospital so close and accessible and yeah, now let's hop into this next section. Okay, so before we jump into kind of more of the businesses that are offered in this area and things that you can do in that regard, like entertainment and stuff, I just wanna to touch on some outdoor related places and activities that you can do in Metairie if that's something that you're interested like me, interested in like me. I actually used to live in this area of Metairie and although throughout Metairie there are little parks kind of scattered throughout as you can see, Lafreniere Park is definitely one of the bigger of the parks that are offered. And as you can see it's not nearly as big as City Park which is absolutely huge. And we have touched on this park in different videos so if you're interested in learning more about what City Park is all about then go ahead and watch those videos. But Lafreniere Park is great if you, especially if you live in one of the neighborhoods around, you could just walk on over. But if you want to take your dog on a walk after work, if you want to take the kids on a bike ride, if you want to go get some alone time and go all, like exercise and go on a run or something, bringing a picnic or maybe feeding the ducks, there's some ponds and stuff like that over there. It's just a great area to get some peace and quiet and enjoy the outdoors really. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. So right over here is a country club, if that's something that you are interested in. Right here is where the Saints, actually the New Orleans Saints practice. So yes, the New Orleans Saints practice in Metairie. And they have, it's called the, can't remember off the top of my head, Osher Sports Performance Center. So that is where they practice and they have fields and stuff out there. There's also a softball park, if that's something that you're interested in, <clears throat> in Metairie. Whoops. And I mean, you can see there's a couple small ones throughout, but the last one, the last thing that I kind of want to touch on outdoorsy related in this area is the, along the lake, there is this, it's kind of like built up like a mound and there's this trail called the Lakefront Trail that you can walk on and you have beautiful, beautiful views of the lake and you also have views of all of the different homes that are located and businesses as well, like down here, that are located on the other side of the trail. I really like going on different trail walks like this and bringing my bike. My husband and I love to go on bike rides along these kind of trails where you have so many different views going on and so many things to look at. So I think that's a great part and a great thing to have that's so accessible if you live in this area. All right, so you are probably wanting me to zoom in now and really get to the nitty gritty of what Metairie really does have to offer. What kind of stores and things to do are there? So let's go ahead and zoom in. And I guess let's start with veterans because I had previously already started mentioning that. So right on the edge kind of here of Metairie, you'll see there is, you have different, I'm trying to zoom in just enough, right? So different stores. So you have TJ Maxx, Home Goods, you have dealerships, Chuck E. Cheese for kids. You have a whole bunch of different restaurants over here. It looks like there's um, pizza places, smoothie places, breakfast places, Mexican places. There's a daiquiri shop. 
uh, Best Buy. So you have a bunch of different stores and restaurants that are offered on this side of Veterans Boulevard. Now, if we continue down, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. All right, so we have a rooms to go, a mattress direct. So if you are, so when you do move here, right, there are areas and stores for you to go shopping right in your city for furniture and whatnot and appliances and stuff like that. Um, let's continue down here. Bar, fast food restaurants, pharmacies, more daiquiri shops. <laughs> Louisianians love their drive through daiquiris, right? <laughs> there are coffee shops, you have Starbucks, grills, um, gyms, more breakfast restaurants. You have IHOP, you have Subway, banks. There is a market. <clears throat> There's a family grocery store, gas stations, lots of gas stations on the corners here. Don't have to worry about running out of gas anywhere in Metairie, that's for sure. <laughs> um, you have different clinics. If you just wanna stop in, if um, you just are needing like an urgent care type of thing, there's definitely plenty of those offered in Metairie. Bakeries, seafood restaurants, steakhouses, Panera Bread, another seafood restaurant. Um, Mexican, I mean, look at all the restaurants just in this area. There's a David's Bridal, another bakery, more at Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, tons of coffee, coffee shops around here. <clears throat> Chili's, more daiquiris, ice cream store. I mean, literally the list is endless. And look, I just stopped right there. If you continue over and then the businesses just keep, keep, keep going. Now, this is where the mall is, and there it is also where you have other grocery stores like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. There's a Rouse's Market. So whatever grocery store floats your boat <laughs> in whatever price range and stuff like that, you definitely have options. There's a Total Wine, Barnes & Noble. Any, this mall is great. I feel like any store you are needing to go to that would be in a mall, this mall, probably has it it's huge and i mean look the all of these orange buildings those are all businesses and restaurants and big uh dealerships and stuff like that metairie is filled with great businesses and then in between like as soon as you get out of kind of that busier area you come down here and there's all of these different neighborhoods and it's set aside so you don't feel like you're in that hustle and bustle but you go and you work and you get your errands done and everything and then you go home and it's a little bit more quiet and quaint there's people walking in the streets taking bike rides uh kids shooting basketball so it's not it's not busy everywhere you go if if you know what i mean lots of residential areas for sure um, another very popular road I mentioned earlier that does have some businesses very pretty is, <clears throat> excuse me, is this one right here, Metairie Road. Tons of great restaurants on this road. We, like I said, we used to live in Metairie and we used to come over to Metairie Road all of the time. There's great shopping, like boutique shopping and stuff as well. But there's coffee, a couple different coffee shops, great sushi restaurant, Ruby Slipper Cafe, Ruby Slipper Cafe, if you haven't been there before, they have great brunches. Fat Boy's Pizza, amazing pizza. The slices of pizza there are huge and amazing. <laughs> Seafood restaurant, here I can zoom in even more. Donut restaurant, Flora, uh, florist, there's a Martini Lounge, Domino's Pizza, if you just wanna get like a to-go uh, delivery pizza to your house or something like that, you have that close. Snowball Stand, Another, um, <coughs> excuse me, jewelry store right here. There's a, yes, a market. There's restaurants right over here in this area. More banks. You continue down and I think there's even more, if I remember right. Yes. More coffee houses, coffee shops, restaurants, more shopping area. I mean, really? 
Metairie is jam packed with everything that you need. I can take you up and down all of these main roads and anything and everything that you will want and need will be located in Metairie. I can almost guarantee promise you that. But then there's also, like I said, tons and tons of residential areas that are located throughout that are safe and um, in essentially every price range. So Metairie really is such a fantastic area for families, for people who are interested in just renting. Like if you're a student or something like that, if you're younger, trying to get on your feet, there's price ranges for you. If you're looking for a more expensive piece of property and you're looking in like the six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar range, there's going to be homes for you in Metairie as well. So it really does this area offers everything and in my opinion one of the best parts about it is that you are only a hop skip and a jump away from new orleans but you're not dead set in this in the busy downtown downtown hustle bustle of new orleans so you're away a little bit in more of the neighborhood feel but you're close enough to where if you do need to go to the city for work or for fun then you're only about 20 minutes away from the city which is fantastic so I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what Metairie is all about. But if you're wanting me to get an even more detail, even more nitty gritty, you know, zoom in even closer and really walk you through certain thing, more things, then go ahead and leave a comment and I would be more than happy to dig even deeper for you guys. All right, I really hope that you found that video to be helpful and that you enjoyed it, that you learned something new. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, that like button. It definitely supports our videos and our channels. We would really appreciate it. And if you aren't already subscribed, why not come join the New Orleans family? If you wanna to continue to learn more about New Orleans and the greater New Orleans area, like Metairie, then go ahead and hit the notification bell because you'll get notified whenever we post new videos. And again, whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, please go ahead and contact us. We would love to help you with your smooth move to our beautiful state. You can send us a text or an email. You can give us a call or you can schedule a Zoom call with us and we would love to help you. All right, now let's roll with some footage that we got while we were in Metairie.